deep questions to ask a man to create an emotional connection. Hi, this is Helena Hart from CommitmentConnection.com and in this video I wanted to answer a question that was sent in from a woman in our community who asked if there were specific questions you could ask a man to create an emotional connection with him or to deepen the emotional bond that she shares with him. And I just thought that was such a great question and hopefully this will be helpful for you no matter where you're at in your love life. Whether you're single and dating, meeting new men all the time, or if you're in a relationship, even if you're married and you're looking to strengthen that emotional bond and deepen the connection between you and your man. So the first thing that came to mind when I read this question was actually a study that was done by a psychologist named Arthur Aaron, who was looking to explore whether or not emotional intimacy could be accelerated between two strangers when they asked each other a series of personal questions. And I just thought that was so interesting. You know, the idea was that shared vulnerability really fostered emotional closeness and connection between the two of them, even when they didn't really know each other. So I'm going to go ahead and read you some of these questions. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Of course, I don't have all 36 memorized, but I'm going to give you some of my favorites and then sort of share my take on this at the end. So hopefully this will be helpful for you and you'll like some of these too. I just thought this was such an interesting study. So the first one is, would you like to be famous and in what way? Before making a telephone call, do you ever rehearse what you're going to say and why? If you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or the body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 years of your life, which one would you want? Name three things that you and the other person that you're talking to appear to have in common. What in your life do you feel the most grateful for? If you could change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Take four minutes and tell the other person your life story in as much detail as possible. If you could wake up tomorrow having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? And these are designed to get deeper and deeper as they go on. So the next one is, if a crystal ball could tell you the truth about yourself, your life, the future, or anything else, what would you want to know? Is there something that you've dreamed of doing for a long time, and why haven't you done it yet? What is the greatest accomplishment of your life? What do you value most in a friendship? What is your most treasured memory, and what is your most terrible memory? If you knew that in one year you would die suddenly, would you change anything about the way you're living right now, and why? What does friendship mean to you? What roles do love and affection play in your life? How close and warm is your family? Do you feel your childhood was happier than most other people's? Complete this sentence. I wish I had someone with whom I could share blank. If you are going to become a close friend with your partner or the person you're talking to, please share what would be most important for him and let him know. Share with this person an embarrassing moment in your life. When did you last cry in front of another person? And when did you last cry by yourself? Tell the other person something that you like or admire about them. What, if anything, is too serious to be joked about? Of all the people in your family, whose death would you find most disturbing and why? And the last one I'm going to share, this is actually my personal favorite, and that is share a personal problem and ask your partner's advice on how he might handle it. And then ask him to reflect back to you how you seem to be feeling about the problem you've chosen to share with him. I love that last one because it's really all about getting in your feminine energy, sharing how you feel about something, and then asking a man what he thinks or how he would handle the situation, asking for his advice. So I hope these gave you some ideas on some questions you could ask a man to deepen the connection. It seemed to work between the strangers in the study. You know, shared vulnerability really fostered an emotional closeness, even though the people didn't know each other, you know, before they started the conversation. So 
I hope that was helpful for you. And my take on this is that, you know, you can't really create a connection with someone who isn't interested in it. Like you can't, you know, ask an emotionally unavailable man, for example, these questions and all of a sudden transform him into someone who is going to just really want to have a close emotional bond with you or create a close intimate relationship. But if a man is really interested in getting to know you better and he seems to be able and willing to be emotionally intimate and close with you, I think these might really help foster that connection and deepening the emotional intimacy between the two of you. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I did. Again, that study was by a psychologist named Arthur Aaron, if you want to look it up and get the entire list of questions. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to discover exactly what to say and do to get the man and relationship you've always wanted, click the button on the right side of this video to visit our website. And I will talk to you soon.